Hello electric car lovers, in this channel I cover all the latest tech news surrounding electric cars. I cover the background, feel and drive, the current selling price and the specs and engineering that go into making each car. If you have an electric car that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. In today's video, I'm reviewing the upcoming Kia EV6. I'll be covering the most important features to see whether it'll crush the competition or not with its surprisingly powerful GT version. And one more thing before I start. Have you heard about the yoga class for electric cars? I guess they just park in a circle and say, OOM the whole time. Okay, now back to the video. Kia is a quick success story. To be successful, Korean automakers no longer need to be evaluated on a curve. Hyundai, Kia, and more recently Genesis automobiles are not just of good quality but also reasonably priced. In business terms, they've risen up the value chain and Korean automobiles like the goods of fellow Korean businessmen Samsung and LG have become really desired in many circumstances. Hyundai Kia Genesis is racking up triumph after success from premium sports sedans to hot hatchbacks to battery electric vehicles when you combine Korea's vertically integrated mega corporations industrial might with a growing appreciation for Korean pop culture and Hyundai Kia Genesis willingness to poach the world's best design and engineering talent. You get a potential juggernaut unimaginable when the XL clattered onto the stage more than 30 years ago. K-pop has made a direct effort on the automobile industry. Background The Kia EV6 is a tiny electric crossover SUV manufactured by Kia. It's the first Kia dedicated electric car and the first model based on the electric global modular platform EGMP. Compared to the Hyundai Ioniq 5, it was ultimately introduced on August 2, 2021, after a series of images were shared on March 15, 2021. It's also the first model to bear the new nomenclature for a line of Kia electric vehicles that will run from EV1 to EV9. Kia might have opted for a more classic and easy to drive 100% battery electric vehicle instead. It took a risky route. The 2022 Kia EV6, which was previously teased, has finally been revealed. It exceeded my expectations and I'm sure it exceeded yours as well. The EV6 rides on Hyundai's new electric global modular platform, EGMP, which it shares with its corporate cousin, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, and has a crossover meets hatchback body shape that also uses Kia's current aesthetic language. Because the firm acknowledges that there are different types of EV buyers, the EV6 will be available in three distinct flavors, Base, GT Line, and GT. For performance fans, the latter is a genuine delight. Design and Engineering Kia emphasizes that the feature-packed EV6 serves as a superb everyday vehicle with ample range power and interior room. As do all modern battery electrics, it's going to be a game changer, it's too early to tell, but there's a lot to enjoy here. Kia sought to escape the traditional crossover design, so it took a different route. The brand's Tiger Face grille has been reimagined as the digital Tiger Face, with a sleeker overall design that features daytime running lights and a sequential dynamic light pattern. Underneath it is a large and low air intake. Moving to the sides, you'll note a character line that runs beneath the doors and curls upwards towards the wheel arches as it moves towards the back end. The slanted C-pillar with integrated black glossy infill creates the illusion of enlarged window panes and a floating ceiling. Above it is a roof-mounted spoiler and not only looks nice, but actually helps channel air down to the lower, rear spoiler located above the tailgate's rear lights. Interior Not just for technical characteristics but also for elegance, comfort, and cargo space, interior design was crucial. The narrow seats are composed of recycled plastic textiles and are lightweight. Each set according to Kia requires 111 plastic bottles, the second row seats fold flat to create 45 cubic feet of capacity, and there are lots of storage places around the cabin that's around 18 cubic feet when in use. Behind the second seat there's also some more trunk room. The heating and air conditioning units are situated beneath the hood where an internal combustion engine would ordinarily be. This allows for more knee and leg room. Inside, it has a panoramic curved display panel that creates extra room as well as a controller for switching between infotainment and HVAC below the navigation screen and touch buttons for utilizing the heated seat and steering wheel. The EV6's trunk capacity is 520 liters VDA standard and can be expanded to 1300 liters by folding the rear seats. 
the crossover's door pocket crash pad, mood lighting, garnish and Napa leather seats are said to be made from sustainable resources. It also has an augmented reality heads-up display, a 360 camera option and remote controlled parking as well as safety features like lane follow assist, highway driving assist to semi-autonomous adaptive cruise control with auto lane changing, AEB collision avoidance, remote smart parking assist and safe exit assist, as well as smart cruise control with machine learning, SSC ML, 360 camera, Ike. For the first time in Korean automobile sector, it received the product carbon footprint certificate from the Carbon Trust in the United Kingdom. The driver's gauge cluster and infotainment system are housed on two 12-inch curve displays, an augmented heads-up display which displays navigation direction and other driver assist systems on the windshield is also beneficial to drivers. A Meridian sound system with 14 speakers is optional and over-the-air upgrades should be planned on a regular basis. The base and GT line offer two battery options, a long-range 77kWh unit that can go up to 316 miles on a full charge with rear-wheel drive or a 58kWh one that can go up to 230 miles. The WLTP cycle is used for both range estimations, only the GT top-tier model comes with a more powerful battery. The long-range RWD Basic and GT Line models have a 167kW motor at the rear wheels while the AWD versions have a 238kW motor driving both axles. The RWD and AWD variants of the short-range models have 124 and 172kW respectively. An electronic limited slip differential is included on all RWD versions for improved overall handling and driver satisfaction. The EV6 GT, seen in grey, will appeal to enthusiasts. It has a total output of 576 horsepower and 538 pound-feet of torque and is only available in AWD. The car accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds and reaches a peak speed of 161 miles per hour. The bigger battery RWD version obtain a 10 to 80% charge in 18 minutes using both 800 and 400 volt charging. The crossover can tow up to 3,500 pounds when the battery is at least 35% charged. Safe exit assist, lane follow assist, highway driving assist to aka radar cruise control and remote smart park called smart park are just a few of the safety and convenience features available on the EV6. The EV6 comes in a sporty version called GT, available from the fourth quarter of 2022, and it's the most powerful Kia in history. With accumulated power of 436 kW, this version has four-wheel drive. It has 740 Nm of torque, allowing it a maximum speed of 193 kW and a 0 to 62 mph in 3.5 seconds. On this acceleration, the EV6 GT is more efficient than the Tesla Model Y performance, which achieves 0 to 62 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The EV6 GT differs from other EV6s with specific front and rear bumpers, as well as 21 inch rims and neon green brake calipers. Inside, it receives neon green inserts and full suede clad bucket seats. Battery life. The Kia EV6 comes with two battery options, a 58.0 kWh battery and a 77.4 kWh battery. The bigger of the two will obviously give a longer driving range. The EV6 is expected to have a range of up to 300 miles on a single charge according to Kia. Kia claims that when hooked, onto a 350kW fast charger, as I've mentioned the battery can be charged from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. Thanks to an operating voltage of 800 volts in less than 5 minutes, the same configuration is believed to add 70 miles. When connected to a level 2 outlet, the 11kW onboard charger is intended to charge the battery from 10% to 100% in 7 hours. Price and Model Range Kia claims it will produce 11 new electric vehicles by 2026, the first of which will be the new 2022 EV6 and we only have to wait till the first vehicles start arriving in showrooms early next year. Now that we've seen its sleek appearance and appealing interior designs, we know more about its features. Kia hasn't revealed the price of the 2022 EV6, but rear-wheel variants with short and long-range batteries will be offered. Only all-wheel drive vehicles, notably the high-performance EV6 GT, are compatible with the latter. We also expect a less powerful GT line trim level to join the range below it. So here are the price estimations for all the trims. 
The RWD Standard Range will cost $45,000. The RWD Long Range will cost $47,000. The GT Line will cost $49,000. The GT will cost $55,000. The Kia EV6 will compete against the Chevrolet Bolt EUV, Volkswagen ID.4, and Tesla Model Y, in addition to the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The EV6 GT is also expected to compete with the future Audi Q4 e-tron. The 2022 EV6, like the Ioniq 5, is only the beginning of Hyundai's new all-electric revolution. Based on what we've seen so far, Kia is unquestionably a strong position for an emission-free future. And this wraps up my review of the Kia EV6. Let me know what you think of it. Thank you for sticking it out through the very end of this video. Nothing helps out my channel more than y'all watching the entire video. These videos take a long time to make and are a labor of love. If you'd like to see my channel grow, please help spread the word. And until next time, remember, the best experiences aren't about where you end up, but who you're lucky enough to be on the journey with.